Hi, my name is Andre Tardio, a NetSuite consultant here with Concentris, and today I'm going to be reviewing the customer center role and the functionality from the customer center role and the features and navigations and pre-setup that you have to do in order to use this. So we're going to start here in this demo environment that I have. So keep in mind that all of this is fake data and just for, for demo purposes. So let me hover over um, set up company and enable features so that we can review the pre-configuration needed for this. Once we're at enable features, I'm gonna to wanna to go to web presence. And then here you can see the a bunch of features for your web presence. I'm gonna drop down here to access. And you can see that I have customer access checked. This feature is required to give your customers access to the customer center. I also have enabled online ordering. So if this is not checked, but your customer access is checked, your customer can go in, look at all of their transactions, look at their cases, um, be able to see some metrics, some reporting, but they won't be able to actually enter any orders. However, if I come in here and I check online ordering, then they'll be able to enter an order from the customer center, which um, some customers like to have that functionality. So if you'd like to enter an order, make sure both of these are checked. Um, you can then go ahead and click save. Since I'm not making any changes, I won't click save. I'll come back home here. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to an inventory item or any item that you want for the customer to be able to use um, in this customer center to put an order in. You're gonna click edit, go to the sub tab down here where your sub tabs are called web store. And I've checked display in website. Now keep in mind, if this is not checked, there's a good possibility, at least in this demo environment, um, that your items are not gonna show up in the customer center. So I'll show you what that looks like here. So because this is set, set up to display, I can now um, exit out of here, find my customer. This is the one I'm using. You can see that this customer is just going to be using your standard stock customer form. I've changed my email over here. So this is linked to me now. Um, when I edit it, in order to give yourself or somebody access to the customer center, like this customer, um, you need to hover down to access, which will only show if that enable features that I showed earlier is checked and running. And you need to click give access. You can choose your role customer center. And when you're first setting this up, you need to click send notification email if that customer already has an existing NetSuite. If not, you need to come in here and manually assign or change password. Um, but you cannot just have these two checked. It will make you send a notification email or um, set up a new password for that customer to use. Down here, you can assign these contacts to have access if you'd like. This is just going to use the standard email field up here. So now that all of that's configured, um, I will get out of edit mode here. So I'm just gonna click cancel. And then once I'm in the customer record, I'll again click on the access tab and I'm going to want to log in as customer. Now, keep in mind, you were not able to do this in edit mode. So once I'm in view mode here, I'll log in. And here you can see my customer center. Now, first things that we're gonna notice is it's very restricted, right? There, there's no sub tabs, this is a good thing. There's a lot of restrictions that go into this. Um, you can see here, it's gonna tell you you're logged in and here is the um, demo environment that I'm using. Few things, we'll start off with the quick view here. You can look at your outstanding balance. Um, this is the number right here. Once you click on this, it's proactive. So you'll be able to find your accounts receivable register and you can play here with the date um, toggle from dates, what you wanna see. And it's nice here. You can look at your types, your receivables and, and your amount paid and balance. Um, so this is good to be for customers to see. Um, then you can look at your outstanding orders. I'll click on this. You can look at all of your sales orders here. Um, 
Let's go down here. Once again, here we can look at our open cases. So you see we have four here. <laughs> Excuse me. Then we'll look at our current estimates. We have one current estimate here. And keep in mind that we can see these, right? So if I click into the date, just like in the sales orders and the cases before, these should be proactive. So you can see I actually opened the exact estimate that's showing here for more detailed information. And that works, of course, for all of the um, cases, outstanding orders, and estimates. Um, here, you have your settings portlet. You can come in here and set your preferences as a customer. Of course, you can set your language, your number format, and a couple of styles here. So nothing, nothing too crazy, just your basic time zone, language, and number format. And then there's a campaign subscription center, which if you click on... Um, I, I guess I'll show you. It's not really too prevalent. It's going to see if you want to sign up for um, campaign emails right now. We have it too. We do not wish to subscribe. And this is the enormous logo um, for this demo environment that is set up poorly. So don't mind that. That's just the logo. And here we'll now start looking at these home links, which is where we're going to do a lot of our work. So here, if you're in billing, you can make a payment. I'm not actually going to make a payment, but you can hover to this page. You can apply um, these two invoices. You can check to change the payment amounts um, and come in here, enter your payment information and submit, and it will submit a payment for you, which is very neat. You can print a statement as well. So you'll see here that we could start from the statement date 319 going back to 219 and I can click print. And here we have our enormous logo taking over the page again. Um, sorry about that, that's just the demo. But you can see that here we have what we're looking for, right? We have our statement and our numbers here. Um, keep in mind that this PDF can be changed, of course, in your regular NetSuite and you can do that through your advanced PDF settings. Um, right now, this one's not configured well in this demo, so it's looking like this, but don't mind that. Hone in on the information that it is giving us a statement. So I'll go back here. Like before, uh, you can look at your um, balance here. You can, again, see your AR register. It's going to be that same report that you had access to earlier. And then you can see all of your transactions. So here, this is very neat. You can look at all of the transactions assigned to this customer. Um, you see that we have a very robust um, report slash search going on here. You can look at the document numbers. You can actually click into the document numbers if I wanna see more specifics on the sales order. I will click it. The page will redirect me to more specific information on the sales order. Let me go back now. Um, I can filter here by type. So if I just want to see invoices, here it's going to show me a list of all my invoices. I'll go back and click all. And of course, you can see here are all of our types. And you can set your um, sorting by type if you want. So you can sort by your type here. There's a lot of, lot of ways to um, manipulate this information. So of course that's very useful. And um, now we'll actually get into entering an order. Okay, so I'm gonna click enter order. And remember, you're not going to see that enter order feature if you don't enable the preference that I showed at the very beginning or the feature rather of online ordering. Um, so here we're going to say, let's say test customer center order. This document date, you can put whatever, we'll backdate it to March 1st. And here, remember I showed you on the item earlier in this demo that if you don't set up display and website, uh, you might not see it. So I went in and I did set that up. So you can see that I only have one item here showing and it's that one that I displayed the website on. So this is a very common question and um, a confusing part of 
this customer center is it's treating it like a website. So if your inventory items are not, um, if they're not set to display, then they're not going to. So we did that here. Um, I prefaced that earlier. I'll click on it. Here, you're going to be able to pick the quantity, but that's it. Once you pick your quantity, let's say we do two. Um, now it's going to show you the description, the rate, the amount, and tax, which of course we cannot change as the customer. So now that I'll add that, my items um, come to $2,728. And in order to finish this order, we actually have to put our payment information. So you can see you can put shipping here if you'd like. Um, we don't, I'm not sure of the shipping capabilities with this demo, so I'll leave this alone with this demo environment rather. Um, of course, here's your billing address. You can, this is the one that's locked into your um, customer record. You can change it. Of course, you can put a new one, ship to new one. Um, but here we have an Amex on file. And this, I set this up earlier to, this is just a fake Amex a car, uh, card number and the expiration date. And so here, um, I'll go ahead and click submit. Once we have that, we'll actually be able to see the orders. I'll click here and I'll click, say, see orders. Here are all my sales orders. And you'll see here at the bottom, test customer center order. This is my sales order I just submitted. It's in pending fulfillment status. And um, you can view it. You can, of course, view it here. You can print it. Um, of course, the print's gonna be messed up. I don't know what it looks like, but yeah, you can print the order. Um, and we'll hover back here. So we we entered the order, we saw it. Of course, you can see your estimates, return a request, um, see return request. And then here you can contact your support and even edit your profile. So if you click on edit your profile, it's going to take you here to your um, address information, shipping method, and you can go in here and, and mess with your specific information. We won't do that for now. And for support cases, of course, you can see your support cases, which I we had four earlier. Um, like I showed earlier, you can go in and view these and edit these. And that's it. Here um, we have a transaction search. So if you know an order that you want to see um, and you put the number here and click search, it's going to take you directly to that search. So that's our current configuration of the um, customer center and and some of the things that your customers can can do and see and um, test out in here. Thank you.